Well, hello. Today I wanted to talk about the Victorinox Sportsman. I did do a previous video on this knife uh, quite a while ago, but I, I feel it's worth revisiting because this is such a superb model, massively underrated, um, and can be picked up for so cheap. It's definitely one of the cheaper models, but for me, it is one of the absolute best choices for EDC. A highly massively underrated model. I've got four of these because uh, I think they're so blamming useful I can't find the other one at the moment but yeah it's a brilliant brilliant knife comes with a fantastic tool set in a really nice slim two layer model and in the 84 millimeter format here it is compared to a 91 millimeter compact which is another two layer knife but yeah just that bit smaller just disappears into your pocket till you need to whip it out to use it. I really like this 84mm format and I wish they did more models in this size. I like to change the scales on pretty much all my Victorinox knives and upgrade to plus scales so that you get the uh, the extra slot for the pen. These grey scales were bought from a 3D printed, bought from Shapeways. They're really excellent, really good. Pin slot there, pen slot. Uh, toothpick tweezers. These two sets were both bought from Tashin Messer Mad via Etsy. He uh, custom makes these Mikata scales which are excellent. Absolutely precise fit and finish. Absolutely wonderful. Plus scales there with a pen slot. No pin slot on these. And these are Jade Green G10 also from Tashin Messer Mad with a wonderful glow in the dark cross which actually glows pretty much all night excellent again tweezers toothpick pen no pin slot yeah having a pen is just uh, too useful a thing for me so I, I always upgrade my scales to the plus scales these scales actually cost more than the knives do but you know there you go so as i said as an edc knife um i think this is absolutely a fantastic choice um and i just wanted to compare it to some of the other really great and popular edc choices let's have a look at the uh compare it to the compact first so as i said it's slightly smaller than the compact same uh, should be about the same depth pretty much the same width there but with a slightly different tool set the compact is really popular and I love the compact. I've been EDC in a compact many, many times. So with the compact, you get the large main blade, uh, the combo tool, the scissors, corkscrew, and the multi-purpose hook. And obviously with the compact, you get the uh, tweezers, the toothpick and the pen included, and the pin. And I think, do these already come with the eyeglasses, screwdriver? I think they do. So you get everything in the package. It's a great choice for EDC, really good. A lot of people say they can't do without the scissors uh, on their daily carry pocket knife. I don't know, the scissors are extremely useful and they're probably the one thing that's missing from the uh, the sportsman there. Slightly different tool set. These are good tools. The uh, multi-purpose hook, uh, I'm not particularly a massive fan of that. I hardly ever use it. People say that it has got specific uses. Um, I've used it for pulling tent pegs, which it's good at. People have used, you say that you can use it as a, as a as a pot picker from when your pot's cooking on a campfire or something like that or for sliding into open drawers that don't have handles a hook can be really useful um, it's certainly not one of my most used tools and aside from the scissors i think the uh the sportsman has a much better tool set so you get the the, the large main blade which is a couple of millimeters shorter than the one on the 91 millimeter models but still a really good size for EDC, cutting tasks, opening packaging. Realistically, what are you going to be using your EDC knife for? It's opening packaging, cutting small cutting string, cutting, you know. It's a good size blade, that is. Instead of the parcel hook, you get the excellent, wonderful Victorinox awl, which has a sharp bit on there. It can be used as a, as a package opener to save getting crud on your main blade. I use it for that sometimes. It's good for boring holes. It's, it's a really good tool. An excellent ferro rod striker as well. Yeah, I'd rather have the awl than the parcel hook any day. Corkscrew. Again, I'd rather have the corkscrew than the backside Phillips, although a Phillips screwdriver is much more useful to me than a flathead screwdriver. The backside ones really uh, 
really limited in its use. The backside Phillips that you get on some Victorian oxies because you can't get into small spaces. It's just not that useful. In terms of Phillips screwdriver in, the tip on the can opener makes an excellent Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, I use this all the time with no problems for turning Phillips screws. And it's an inline driver so you can get into small spaces. Yeah, fine. I've never felt myself lacking for a Phillips head driver on a Victorian ox when I haven't got the uh, backside Phillips driver. This does fine. Also, you get the file tool on the Sportsman. Great for nail maintenance. Um, if you're lacking the scissors for cutting your nails, which is what I use the Victorian ox scissors for most, um, you can file your nails off with this. That's fine. You've got like a little nail cleaning tip there that's okay but also this makes a fantastic little Phillips driver for really small screws like you're getting kids toys and things excellent a really good little general prod in very lightweight pry in pokey tool I would much rather have this file tool than a secondary blade such as you would get on a Victorinox Spartan or the 84mm Victorinox Tourist. I've got a main blade here. I've got a tiny secondary blade here on the awl. So this, this is a much more useful tool in my opinion than a secondary small blade. Another big difference between uh, the Compact and the Sportsman. On the Compact you get the Combo tool which has a uh, combination tool which replaces this opener layer on other models. So this is a, a flathead screwdriver. If you angle it, it's a Phillips driver just about. It's dire, but it'll help you out in a pinch. Uh, bottle opener, can opener, that all works fine. A little wire stripping notch, that works fine. It's it's fine for EDC for having in your pocket for if you've got nothing else. But it's quite thin and it's a little bit flimsy. Can I show you there? Let's bring these up level. So yeah, it's much thinner than the, uh, the cap lifter tool on the Sportsman. I've actually bent a couple of these over the years trying to open paint cans, the combo tool. It's just a little bit flimsy and thin. This will open paint cans no problem. It's a nice, thick, sturdy tool, can be used for light prying, your bottle opener, your wire stripper notch, large flathead driver. This is a sturdy little tool for light prying, stuff like that. And then you get the separate can opener. I, I think both of these work fine as a can opener. And then you get this small flathead driver on the end, which is great for Phillips screws. Much better than using this on Phillips screws. So in, in, if I'm doing DIY and things around the house, I won't carry the, the compact because that's just not going to be up to the job. These two little tools are much sturdier and much more suited to specific and, and heavier duty tasks. So it's a toss up. That's fine if you're not actually planning to do anything really, just having it there as a standby. But if you know you're going to be doing some little, little work, I'd, I'd always choose this for, for having in my pocket for DIY in over something like the compact that has the combo tool. The, this is good because it saves space, but this is better in use if you know you're going to be using it having a separate opener layer. So yeah, it depends what you're doing I guess, but if I know I'm going to be doing a bit of DIY stuff, I'll choose this always because it's sturdier, more useful, more effective. So yeah, the, the compact's got the scissors, which are great. The Sportsman hasn't, which it's a shame, but it keeps it nice and slim. Like I say, you can use your knife for a lot of cutting tasks. You can use the file for filing off your nails. So, uh, I don't know. I always carry on my car keys, uh, a little Victorinox Classic SD or a manager. So the scissors are all... I've got scissors if I'm at home, that's no problem. So yeah, the Compact's a great knife, but so is the Sportsman with slightly different utility and a slightly smaller frame. This is a better, harder use tool than the Compact. Another model that I really love and a lot of people absolutely adore is the um, Alox or Alox Cadet. I love this model. I've got a few of these, there's a couple of them here. Really tactile, nice, slim, really sturdy, durable knife. But I found myself finding it more hard to justify carrying this when this has so much extra utility. It's got all the basic same tools. Let's have a look. The cadet there is really almost sort of half the thickness of the Sportsman. It's tiny. These Alox or Alox scales feel amazing. They're super durable. All the same tools, main blade, file tool and the separate opener layer. That's what you get with the cadet. But if you're carrying a Sportsman, 
especially with the plus scales, you get in an extra several tools, and it's really hard to argue against that extra utility that you get. So there's those tools on there, and with here you get an extra one, two, three, four, five, six tools. You're getting an extra six tools by carrying a sportsman with the plus scales. And if you've got a pin slot as well in your scales, such as in this one, that's an extra seven tools over the cadet. Corkscrew, the eyeglasses screwdriver, the awl, the pin, the pen, the toothpick, and the tweezers. So, I don't know. I love them both, but in terms of pure utility and having yourself covered for EDC situations, you've got to choose this, right? So, yeah, Victorinox Sportsman, it's so, so underrated. I absolutely love this model. I've, yeah, I've been recently renovating my kitchen and I've had one of these in my pocket at my side for little on the spot tasks when I haven't been asked to go to get a, a different tools and it's it's done been a trooper so useful much more useful than it would have been carrying a, a compact or something with a combo tool so underrated and they one of the cheaper models as well even now I think my last one I bought was a couple of months ago I paid 17 quid for the knife obviously not for the scales but yeah I've just had a look on Amazon we are December the 18th 2023 and they're currently 21 quid on Amazon um, they do go up and down in price by a couple of quid so yeah have a look but what a bargain what an absolute bargain flawless with quality Victorinox quality as ever uh, I just wanted to sing the praises of this wonderful little model if you haven't considered one I think you seriously seriously should go pick one up do it do it now think of it as a little Christmas present from you to you uh, thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts about the sportsman. Goodbye, and Merry Christmas, one and all!